Today we've analyzed a very, very important dossier for, for transport sector, so-called uh, railway package recast, which is a very difficult dossier. 22 countries are in a court situation with the European Commission, not implemented the rules of liberalization in the railway sector. And actually the very controversial results we got today as well. I think, uh, well, we cannot say that the results of today's vote will really bring the railway market to liberalization way. As an example, I can give you what, is, uh, what does it mean, the result of today's vote in the European Parliament on this uh, issue. It means that still will be, could be used public money, which is uh, initially aimed to, to help uh, to develop infrastructure in the railway sector. It could be used also for, via infrastructure manager companies to the railway undertakings in some other countries to get uh, market share in other countries. That means uh, some uh, enterprises in the European railway market would be in, 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 in some kind of with a with the state, state support fighting for the markets in other countries, which is not fair. I can be satisfied with the exceptions which is related with a, with a Russian size gauge market which is in Baltic states, also in Finland. There are separate rules which is, I think it's very good, but all the rest uh, I think we can uh, step forward, uh, not forward, but even step back with this result today. <laughs>